days, quitting seems to be all the rage. When an employee only does what's required, it's called quiet quitting. If I'm supposed to go above and beyond, then so should my pay. Look up the hashtag quiet quitting on social media and you'll see millions of people heralding quiet quitting as the new way to find a work-life balance. You got in this morning at 9 o'clock a.m. on the dot. Actually, you've been doing it all week. Yep, that's when work starts. Quiet quitting is when you do the bare minimum in your job to get by. What happens when you quiet quit your relationships? Relationship experts are now raising red flags and cautioning couples to look for signs of quiet quitting in their relationships. Quiet quitting in a relationship or quiet dumping is when your partner chooses to only do the bare minimum required to date you without you breaking up with them. Rachel D'Alto, Match's chief expert, calls quiet quitting a slow killer when it comes to relationships. It's all about complacency in your relationship. You're not doing what you used to do. Once one person in the relationship starts quiet quitting, the other person is probably soon to follow. Think back to the honeymoon phase, perhaps the first six months when you guys were dating. Is your mate still doing all the things that they used to do to make you feel special? I do on some level agree, but at the end of the day, if you're married for 15, 20 years, things will never be the way that they were during the honeymoon phase. Once you have jobs and children and your lives are really busy, it'd be silly to think that you're dating Dating life or your relationship would be the way that it was when you guys just met, carefree, the sexual chemistry was on a 10 because you hadn't seen each other naked yet. I mean, I've seen you naked a million times now, the thrill is gone. <laughs> really the big red flag is a lack of communication and a lack for your spouse to recognize and acknowledge your wants. So if you tell your spouse, hey, I wanna spend more time with you and they don't acknowledge that or make changes, or if you say, hey, I don't feel special. I used to love when you would buy me presents every once in a while or surprise me with a trip or surprise me with a little date night. You know, just make me feel like you see me. If you communicate these needs and your spouse still doesn't respond or acknowledge or make changes, I think that means they basically quietly quit you. Now, if you're worried if your boyfriend or girlfriend has quietly quit you or you're thinking of kind of quitting yourself, the first thing that you should do, according to relationship experts, is start communicating. Hello, talking, communication is key. Talk to your mate, tell them your issues, why aren't you unhappy? Why are you feeling complacent? Why do you feel like the spark in your relationship has died? The only way for you to make a positive change in your relationship and in the workplace is by starting some dialogue. So if you think that your mate is quietly quitting, baby, you better get loud and make sure that they don't go out the door. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, Don't Quit, so you always know what's going down in the streets, in between the sheets, and behind closed doors.